What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another episode of RTX On. That's right, today we are celebrating the fact that we're gonna get some more graphic novels! Yeah, so there's been a lot of news recently um, on specifically books, which I'm so excited about because the books are probably my favourite part of the Freddy Fazbear universe. What was I going on about there? <laughs> of the FNAF universe. The FNAF universe, my favourite part is the books. Specifically the Fazbear Frights rather than the trilogy. But we're going to be talking about both today because both are just as interesting, I guess. I don't know if you can tell recently, uh, <laughs> I love the Fazbear Frights books so, so much. Um, I've got a lot of videos on them, so check them out as well. And while you're checking them out, make sure you subscribe so you will see when more come out because the Puppet Carver is coming out in like two or three days and I'm so excited to record audiobooks on them for you guys uh, to get my reaction to them as well. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. I, I'm so excited for Puppet Carver. Can't wait. Let's get straight into this. Um, the Fourth Closet. The Fourth Closet is getting its own graphic novel. Uh, just like The Silver Eyes got its own graphic novel and just like The Twisted Ones got its own graphic novel. This one is coming out in 2022 and I love the cover art. I love the cover art. Um, the Charlie baby person. <laughs> I, I haven't actually read The Fourth Closet. I'm so sorry I've let you all down. The baby looks fantastic, kind of creepy. Um, the spring trap is just so detailed, it's insane. Uh, and I, I really love it, I really love it. I'm very excited to read through that. Uh, I should probably read the actual fourth closet before I read this, but hey ho. And by the way guys, if you want me to do, I guess like dubs of, <laughs> dub, fan dubs of uh, these graphic novels, I would love to do that. That would be so exciting for me. Uh, I would love to do that. <laughs> One. But the thing I'm most excited about is this description. The FNAF publishing saga continues as Scholastic has announced that the Fazbear Frights series will be released as a graphic novel. Oh wait, no, as, as, oh god. As graphic novel adaptations beginning in summer 2022. Ah! First of all, yes, it's summer 2022, uh, which is quite a while away, that's next year. Um, but man, I'm very excited because the entire series ha has been wrapped up by then. Um, all of the stories will have come out, including the 12th book, uh, and then we'll get graphic versions of these, uh, which is very, very exciting to me. I cannot wait to see these characters that we've been reading about, uh, actual, actual images of them, and being able to visualize them with your eyes rather than with your mind. Is that a good thing? I don't know, because at the moment, all of them have really good imagery just in my brain right now. I don't know if it's going to be spoiled by actual drawn graphics of them. But I think I have hope. I have hope for them. The thing I want to point out about these is the next part of this comment. Each volume will include stories from different Fazbear Frights titles, which we were assuming. Kicking off with Into the Pit, To Be Beautiful, and and out of stock. That's right, the first story from the first book, the second story from the first book, and the third story from the second book. That doesn't make much sense to me. The only reason I could see it making sense is if, um, is if they weren't actually doing every single story from the Fazbear Frights books. I mean, if there's 11 books, um, then that means that there's 33 stories and they would have to draw 33 stories, which is a lot of work. So honestly, I can see them skipping out a lot of stories, but you can't skip out Fetch. So I don't know what their plan is with this. I don't know why they've taken the third story from the second book and put it with the other two uh, uh, book one stories. Um, but that seems very interesting to me. The other thing I could see is th the fact that in the first two Stitch Wraith parts, uh, we do see To Be Beautiful, and we do see Out of Stock, right? So maybe it could be related to the Stitch Wraith stories, but I'm not too sure about that because Into the Pit is there as well, which has just appeared in the most recent Stitch Wraith story, so I, I don't know um, 
I don't know where this is gonna go. By the way, if you wanna watch my video on Into the Pit, it's a good one, go watch it. And that actually brings up the question, is this going to include the Stitch Raid stories? And I really want it to. I really, really want the Stitch Raid stories to appear at the end of these ones as a surprise as well. That would be great. I want to see what the Stitch Raid really looks like. The other way I could see it being possible is if it was its own story or its own book. That would be very cool if it was its own like comic book kind of style novel. Um, but yeah, yeah, that would be very cool. I also want to know, is this going to be called into the pit the graphic novel and is it going to have like the same cover because i think it would be cooler if it had a to be beautiful cover or something like that or maybe like three stories like like you know it's separated into three i don't know i don't know i don't i want to see where this goes but it's very exciting that we're getting graph graphic novel adaptations for these stories tell me guys what you think uh and tell me how excited you are. I am over the moon with this um, because I don't want Fazbear Fright's stories to end. Really, I don't want them. I don't want that to happen. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm so close to 10,000, almost 200 away from 10,000 now. So that's insane. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.